I don't know if you remember, but last September I studied in Berlin, Germany. <laughs> Except my German was limited to in shoulder gong. Oh, in shoulder gong. Oh, in shoulder gong. Uh, in shoulder gong. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. And I also knew a few random words like Schmetterling because of that viral video of harsh German words. Ambulance. 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 Yeah. Next semester, I am so happy to say that I am studying in Berlin again. Except this time, I want to speak German. Mm -hmm. Throw back to six weeks ago when I enrolled in a three month German course. I am committed. Every other day for the last six weeks, I have had a one hour German class with a German teacher and I am learning German and it's so cool. I chose the learning platform Lingoda because one of my closest friends at university did the German Lingoda course. And this girl, my God, she's incredible. She went from beginner's German to C2 level because she studied so much. She could think in German. She could have a conversation in German by the end of the three months. And I'm not as dedicated as her, but I would love to be able to speak a little bit of German by the end of the three months. I can talk to the staff in shops. I can have a hot girl summer. I can hit up all the cute Germans. In this video, I'm gonna take you through some of my journey of learning German in the last six weeks, the kind of things that I'm doing, how I found the classes, and then I'm gonna end the video by <laughs> trying to speak some German to you. Honestly, I'm still not that good, gonna be honest. <laughs> but if I compare myself to where I was six weeks ago, it is insane. <laughs> so. It. Also, before we get into it, one of the most insane and exciting parts about this video is that it's actually sponsored by Lingoda. For context, I purchased this course, I paid my money, I chose this because I thought it was good, my friend had an amazing experience, I did it for over a month, was enjoying it, and then I reached out to Lingoda and was like, would you like me to talk about this? Because I love your service. So it's so cool to say that this video is sponsored by them. What is so special about Lingoda and why I love it is this concept of a sprint. You sign up for three months. That is incredible accountability. But the cool part is it's a challenge. I have a thing called the super sprint. If you decide to have a class every single day for three months and you don't miss a single one, you get all your money back. That is insane. I couldn't commit to every single day because I was certain I was gonna miss one, but I am doing the classes every other day. And if I don't miss a single one, I get half my money back, which I would love, please. And what's cool is it's so flexible. You can book any time of class within the day. I'm so spontaneous with my life in summer. So sometimes I literally book a class on the day. We have native teachers. The people in the class are from all around the world, which is really special. Classes are through Zoom. There can be anywhere from one or two students to five students. And it's so focused on speaking and pronunciation. It's like the opposite of how I study language at GCSE, which was very much learn the grammar and then don't speak. Here, we speak a lot. The sign up for the next sprint ends on July 16th and then the sprint starts on August 2nd. You can learn English, German, French, Spanish and business English. You put a deposit and then you can pay in monthly installments. But what is so cool that I can offer you this because I would have loved to have this is I have a voucher code where you can get a discount. You can get 20 euros off the deposit and if you want to do the 100% cashback option, you have to sign up for the super sprint by June 24th, which is very soon. But as you can see in this video, I absolutely love it and it has helped me learn so much much like I wish they had a Dutch option so I could do some speedy Dutch learning <laughs> first time going to a German class ah! today's one is called check I can do my groceries in German although I'm suddenly really doubting myself why have I gone for a topic about grocery shopping when I literally don't even know how to say where I come from if in doubt speak Dutch <laughs> hello uh, ich Ich bin Jade. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, ich heiße Jade. Ich heiße Jade. Ich komme aus. Um, ich, ich bin Englisch. Um, und ja, yeah, das ist alles. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a question. Uh, ja, yeah, ich habe eine Frage. Why did I think it would be a good idea for my first class to go to a chapter 13 class? That was so stupid of me. The teacher was lovely, the people in the class were lovely, but I don't know German. And so then I entered a class that was not chapter one where I should be. I went to chapter 13, oh Jane. I knew it was a red flag when I entered the class and she was asking everyone to introduce themselves in German. And I said, ich bin Jade, which apparently is grammatically totally incorrect. So I bet the second I said that, I just totally expose myself as having no clue in the German language. <laughs> but hey, we live and learn from tomorrow. I know which classes to book. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my second lesson of German. <laughs> this time I know more of what to expect. I have literally gone over the learning resources before the class. I think it is more my level. I'm optimistic. Let's give it a go. Weiter. I 
ich denke, das bedeutet Metz. Ja, äh, ich heiße Jade. Äh, ich habe oder ich bin? Ich bin äh, 20, äh, 21 Jahr, Jahre alt. Ich komme aus England, aber ich studiere in Berlin. Äh, woher kommst du, Shan? Äh, woher kommst du, Deborah? That was so much better. <laughs> I love this so much. I find it so fun. These people were so much more at my level. There was a woman from Canada, a guy from Peru, a guy from China, and me, and then the German teacher. We were learning basic introductions of questioning each other, like, what's your name? Where do you come from? How old are you? So much more foundational. And I'm just gonna go in order of the foundational classes. Because when I assume that I already know stuff, I clearly do not. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, oh yes, I know numbers. I don't think I do. <laughs> Exciting, I need to sort out a good way to make notes. Okay, I think anyone who has ever watched a bit of Nathaniel Drew, a bit of Ikenna, any of the language learning video people will know how useful it is to try and learn the 1,000 most common verbs and words in a language. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make some flashcards or I'm gonna look on Quizlet and see if they've got some pre-made flashcards of the 1,000 most common words. I'm sure if you're familiar with the concept of space repetition, but it is the most effective way to learn anything. If you want anything to stay in your long-term memory, you have to be aware of the forgetting curve, which is here. It was discovered by Herman Ebbinghaus. The idea is that human memory decays over time. But if you review the information with regularly increasing intervals, you boost your memory back up to 100%. Like you're reviewing it, you almost forgot it, and then you, you boost it, you've got it again in your head. So being aware of that, I need to come up with some way of getting space repetition into my life, of going over vocab. Wie geht es dir? Guten Tag. Mir geht es gut. Was machst du uh, uh, heute? Na, heute? Heute. Um, ich werde einen Freund sehen. Oh, ein Freund oder ein Freund? Schnitt, sicher. Beobachten. Beobachten. What's beobachten? Like to observe, to spy on. How do you know that? Have you learned that stuff? Hoped. Oh, like hoped ban off. I know that. Huh? Hopped, like hopped bow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kinder. That is like Dutch. Kinder. Children. By school, I learned today that when it's like an SP or an ST, it's like a st or sp. By spiel. Spiel. It's so useful to have people correct you in a class. Schreiben. 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 Genug. Genug. Das ist genug. Genug. Oh, genug. 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 Something I still have no idea about is like an O with a, um, the umlaut or the U with an umlaut. I just don't know how they sound different. I'm not there yet. I've got a class in a few days which is about umlauts and the sounds of different letters and I need it. Hello. Oh. Do you like my sticker? Is that true? I am just gonna blurt from memory some of my Ich bin Du bist I love a bit of verb conjugation Almost certain I've got some of these wrong I find them so hard to remember Go German! <laughs> I have found some absolute German bops that I love. When I'm going for a run, when I'm going for a bike ride, I listen to them. I'm looking at the lyrics. I find myself humming along. Like, I think this is such a good way to learn pieces of a language. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was judgy of German music. It's a lot of just German rap. But now I appreciate that it's really good. Tell me this isn't a bop. Apache, Bowser, Kitch Creek, they know. Gavishten, that's a new wave shirt drop. 
If you're seven, you can fast and spark and have it on the bicycle. I can't rap in English, I can't rap in German. Auf Wiedersehen. Du bist der Kuh von der Kuh, sie schraub für dich, ich kill für dich. Du bist mein Licht, du bist mein Strom. Mach mich kaputt, ich will was wohl. Kill mich, alles ist so cool. Brich mein Herz, ich breche dein So we survive. Hallo zusammen, heute werde ich mit dir sprechen auf Deutsch. Heute werde ich auf Deutsch mit dir sprechen. Ah, we'll try. <lacht> und ich werde Fragen stellen und beantworten. Zuerst werde ich über mich sprechen. Ich heiße Jade. Wie buchstabiert man das? Das ist buchstabiert. J A D E. Ich bin 21 Jahre alt und ich komme aus England, aber ich werde, äh, ich werde in Berlin studieren. Ich bin eine Universitätsstudentin und ich lerne gerne. Ich lerne viel über der Welt und ich liebe und liebe ich Reisen. Was machst du vom Beruf? Ich bin ein Student, aber bin ich auch selbstständig, weil habe ich ein YouTube-Channel. Ich mache gerne Videos. Ich mache Videos zweimal die Woche, auch manchmal jeden Tag. Was ist dein Traumberuf? Ich weiß nicht, ich habe kein, keinen Traumberuf, aber ich werde jetzt hart arbeiten. Ich liebe Lesen, der Buch, der Bücher, die Natur, Business, Economy vielleicht, weiß nicht. Und liebe ich Menschen helfen, helfe Menschen. Wie viel Uhr ist das? 11 Uhr 39. Was darf es sein? Kann ich einen Muffin haben? Ja, und ist das alles? Äh, nein, kann ich auch einen Kaffee haben? Ah, mit Hafermilch. Dankeschön. Ja, und wie möchten Sie bezahlen? Äh, ich zahle bar. Ich habe keine Karten. Du bist sehr nett. Hier, Trinkgeld vor dir. Okay, das ist alles. Ich kann viel mehr verstehen, aber ich kann nicht so gut sprechen. Ich lerne noch und mein Ge Gehirn ist langsam auf Deutsch, <lacht> aber ich bin viel besser, dann ich was. This is like a month in, I can understand a lot. My classes are totally taught in German now and I understand what is going on like 99% of the time, which is amazing. Also the fact I feel confident enough to try and speak to you is pretty cool. If you're trying to learn a language, you are incredible, that is amazing. Languages are not easy, they require so much dedication and work, but I believe in you. Definitely look up Lingoda if you want to try speaking and they offer one of the languages you're looking to learn. Get me to Berlin. <laughs> Bye.